Hello friends, welcome to The Rich Life. Um, if you are new to my channel, welcome. I am so glad you're here. Normally, we do daily vlogs every single day. We vlog our daily life every day and I upload just about daily. But occasionally, I like to do something different and do sit down videos. So that is what today is. It is a sit down video with me. So what am I gonna be talking about with you guys today? So, um, a friend of mine got in touch with me and asked if I would like to try and review beauty counter products. Now, if you don't know this about me already, I love makeup. Like, I love makeup. I'll link, I have another video um, that I did on some of my favorite makeup products. I'll link that somewhere up here. But I love makeup. I've loved it for years. I have watched beauty YouTubers for years. Now, I'm not a beauty guru. I'm not a beauty, you know, um, YouTuber. I just am a mom who likes makeup. And so I think that you guys can relate to that. So when Erica mentioned it, I was like, yes, please. I would love to. But really, one of the reasons I really wanted to try it is because I had never tried Beauty Counter. I didn't even know what it was. Um, so I think that's kind of cool and exciting to try something that you've never tried and never heard of. And that like really makes it kind of like a legit review. Com coming into it with no preconceived ideas. I've never seen a review on it. I, I didn't really even know. So I was like, yes, I would love to try them. So she has, she sent me the products. I have already tried them. That is what is on my face today. I'm gonna go through everything um, that I have on my face and talk about each of the products, talk about my opinion. Um, but first, let me tell you a little bit. Now I'm still learning about Beauty Counter. I don't know everything. Erica will be the one to talk to if you had questions and everything is gonna be linked below. We'll get to that later too. Um, but you've, you hear in the beauty world like clean beauty and green beauty, safe beauty products. That's what Beauty Counter is. It is a safer alternative to your more traditional beauty products. Now I have a drawer full of beauty products Ain't none of them clean. <laughs> They're not. Um, because I've just not something that I've really um, researched. And let me tell you why. Because usually, kind of what the um, stereotype, if you will, of clean or green beauty products is that they're no good. They're not pigmented. There's no good color payoff. They don't last. There's, there's not a lot of coverage. That's kind of the buzz that I have always heard. So I've kind of steered clear of green beauty products, sadly, because I just did not think, based on what I heard, that they performed well. And I do think that a lot of the green beauty products don't perform that well. That, sorry, if, if you disagree, that's fine. So, um, what I appreciate about um, Beauty Counter is that um, they, their like mission statement when I was reading, and I'm not like word for word, but their mission statement was um, that they wanted to provide a way for everybody to use and wear safe products. That to me is like, that's really cool. And when I talked to Erica, when she was explaining, she, she has sent me a lot of stuff about Beauty Counter. And again, I'm gonna link all the information about Beauty Counter because there's so much about this company and what they do and how they try to clean their products up, if you will. Um, she told me, this is alarming, okay, that there's like 85,000 like um, products that go into your more traditional makeup, like popular makeup brands, cosmetic brands, and here's the thing, 90% of them, of those things, chemicals, ingredients, are not tested to find, to, to determine the impact that, that, that those products, or when I say products, I mean like chemicals and ingredients and things, that those ingredients have on the human body. 90% are not tested to see what the impact is on the human body. 85,000 of those ingredients. I was like, what, are you kidding me? Like, 
what? We would never in a million years eat something that wasn't tested. Am I right? Like, I mean, again, this is new and I, I, I am like, I'm learning this too. And I'm so guilty of it as well. Like not really researching what I'm putting on my face, but boy, do I research what I put in my body. But our skin is our, our largest organ of our body. So what we put on our skin goes right into our body. So it's really something to think about. Um, I'm not saying like, take you know throw out every single makeup item you have I mean maybe that's what you want to do I have a lot of makeup but it's just like you know ignorance is bliss and we all know that but when we kind of start researching and learning things it's like ah anyways that's this is what beauty counter is about um, they are trying to minimize the amount of those bad chemicals in getting it like I think that they screen out like 1500 of those like of chem of ingredients um and they have like this never list i think it's called like their never list that like it sh those ingredients should never be in makeup and they do a really good job at trying to minimize any of those ever coming in to their makeup products so beauty counter in a nutshell again i'm going to leave lots of information about beauty counter down below so you can read up um about more about them and what their purpose and goals and um I feel like they could probably explain it better than I could or Erica could, but um, it's really interesting and um, I kind of appreciate their mission. They want to keep us women healthy. Okay, on to the products. All right, so I was really excited about some of the stuff that she sent me. Um, I'm going to first talk about the eyeshadow. Okay, she, she sent me some eyeshadow. I picked out the color that I thought I would like and I love it. Now, eyeshadow can be tricky because um, I'm really picky when it comes to eyeshadow. Actually, most drugstores eyeshadow, in my opinion, is worthless. It does not perform. It doesn't have pigment. It doesn't last. I'm just never been happy with it. And so I would never in a million years think about trying a green, like product eye, eyeshadow product, clean product, because I would think that it wouldn't perform as well. Let me grab it for you. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna insert video of me applying the eyeshadow and tell you kind of how I did it as well. Um, Here's the eyeshadow, and again, I will probably insert um, the clip of me putting it on. Sorry if my camera's not focusing. But um, it is an absolutely beautiful color. This color, my camera, come on and focus. Um, I put the lighter shade all over my lid, and this darker, beautiful amethyst shade in my crease and I just um, took my brush, swirled it around as you can see in the video and just swiped it right in my crease. And um, I was really, really shocked guys. I am not gonna lie. The pigment was beautiful. It, you know what, one of the things that I really appreciate that kind of is across the board that I've noticed with Beauty Counter products is that the way that the product is placed on your skin and lays on your skin, it gives you so much control over where you want it, how much you want it, how much pigment, because I have some products, guys, that, and, and, and I, love, I love the products that I have, but um, some, some blushes, you, you, you put it on your cheek and poof, it's like, there's a color, ain't no room for a mistake. And, and you better put it on correctly and right where you want it. But this, you can place it and then blend it and you can add for the eyeshadow or for the blush and you can add more to create more color or less you know like your first swipe is not this intense pigment and you're like oh no i'm stuck that's not how i wanted it no. place it and you keep adding and i love that it gives you so much control and i think it's perfect for the novice makeup person like if you're new to makeup you don't want something that is overly pigmented um, because you 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 need a little wiggle room there. Um, so I was super impressed with this. I love the colors. It is what I'm wearing now. I even put some under my lash line. You may have seen that in the video, the clip. Um, the the amethyst color is un I put it under my lash line in the crease. The lighter color on my lid. Per that's it. That's all. And it was so simple. Because sometimes I go nuts and I have like five different colors. I didn't need it. I just really. I don't know if you you know if you can tell. I just really 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 was impressed with this. Okay, next up. Um, I am going to tell you a product that completely shocked me. Okay, 
I had high hopes for it. I mean, I didn't because I did not think that a clean beauty company could do mascara well. So I even told Erica, mm, let me see. I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty, um, I'm a hard critic when it comes to mascara. I was so surprised. So this is the one product out of all of them that I really, really was surprised by because I thought I would probably have to tell Erica, mm -mm, no. Let me tell you what is really good about this product. The wand, okay? And I will also insert some video of me um, putting on. The wand is very small, okay? If, you, if it's gonna um, focus, I'm sorry if it doesn't focus. Um, it is very small, which is good. Again, it gives you a lot of control where you wanna place the mascara. It's perfect for your bottom lash. It separates your lashes beautifully. There's no clumps. If you like a super thick, clumpy, clumpy, I mean like way down lashes, you're not gonna like this. Um, but it separates them, it lengthens them, it really does, and it is buildable. And the other really kind of cool thing about this is that oftentimes you will hear, hear um, you know, us, us makeup junkies, we say, oh, the first time we put on a mascara, we don't like it. We need it to dry out a little bit. Um, and then it gets better with time. This is already the perfect like dryness. It is a drier formula, and that's usually what we want after a week or two of our mascara. So it's, it's kind of already where we want it. And so I am so shocked, and I really like, I have no lashes first, let's just be honest. Literally have none. So I don't have much to work with, so I mean, but I'm pretty happy with, I love it. I told, I, I really, really will use this. So, good stuff. Okay, next is, now I love blush, okay? Um, and so I picked out this beautiful peach blush and um, so when you look at it in the pan you're like holy moly that is bright and you're right it is bright but that's what's on my cheeks right now and again the beautiful thing with these products that I'm finding is you have all the control over the pigment of these. It is beautifully pigmented. However, when you first place your brush on your cheek, it doesn't leave this one like, oh, you know, then you have to work really hard to blend it out. No, place it and add more and add more. If you want just the lightest dusting of color, you can get that. If you want it more pop of color, you can get that. I swirled these two together and used both of them. But if you want it like more of a pop of color, you could do it right here on your cheek blend it it's really it's really up to you i i'm super let me see if you can see i'll blend them together on my finger um it has this um she it is not glittery sparkly but it has this sheen to it probably not gonna do the best swatch but it has this like sheen to it that just kind of um like gives you like this sorry i'm blurry glow from um within and I really like it. Again, this is great for somebody who's not used to makeup because you have so much control. You, you're just not gonna make mistakes because you can blend it out and add more. So I really appreciate the pigment is right on point. It really is. I have nothing bad to say about this. Okay, again, I'm a hard, I promise you, <laughs> I, I'm not, I'm picky about my makeup. So I was so overall really surprised about these products. Okay, next, let's talk about my lips. Okay, um, probably the one product that I love the most, makeup product, is lipstick. I love lipstick, I have a lot of it. So, I picked out this color, it is called Twig. And this, let's see, I'm, I'm, I will um, put, insert the name of this, of this lipstick, like aside from Twig, like what it's actually, the full name of it, right here, so you can know. Um, so I'm gonna let start now. You'll see I have inserted me putting it on as well. I lined my lips. Now I always line my lips. No matter, you hear a doggy out there? Yeah. <laughs> um, I always line my lips. So I wasn't going to not line my lips for the review because I wanted to, to, to use a lipstick how I would normally in like everyday life. So I line my lips and then apply this. And you guys, oh my goodness, it is the softest 
most creamy lipstick I probably own that actually has pigment. Like, did I show you? Let me see. Let me let me let you see this a little bit better. Um, this color, so it's gorgeous. Look, at, it is perfect for every day, but it's so creamy and it is pigmented. It's not sheer. Um, it's not as opaque as say like, um, like a matte would be, but it's beautiful. And here's what I like about this. So we all have those lipsticks that we wish we could just throw on our purse and not have a mirror and put on, but we know we can't because of the, the way they're pig, you know, they're pigmented or whatever. This is one of those lipsticks that you can throw in your purse and don't need a mirror and don't need to pay attention and done one and done so i love this love this like i would repurchase this because um i feel like this could be like your every single day staple wear it every day put it in your purse and so i was i was really impressed with this i really like i really like how it feels on my lips i have very very dry lips and um this doesn't make them angry okay what else okay so this is i am not wearing this product but i have worn it all week and i love it and this is their lip gloss in the color dahlia um and it is a beautiful springy pink color now let me tell you okay so i love lip gloss because it's one of those items that you can just throw in your purse you know and put on as needed um this if you've worn MAC lipsticks, you know how sticky they are. This isn't sticky. It's not going to catch your hair. It just goes all nice. Now, it's not incredibly pigmented. I will tell you that. Um, but it is a gloss. And I don't know that it's... Let me just do a little um, swatch for you because I don't have it on. Um, I mean, on my arm, it looks kind of pigmented. But it just feels so good. And what you can do... That's a terrible swatch. That's a terrible swatch. Um... That's a terrible swatch, but um, what you can do and what I did. So I would wear it without anything. And then I put on like a lipstick and put this over it. It was so pretty. If you had like a matte pink lipstick and then put this on top of it, it would, um, it would be beautiful. So I love, I, lo I really, really, really liked it because I liked the formula and I liked that it wasn't too sticky. And I have some really sticky lip, lip um, glosses and I like those too, but I like this. And um, they have other colors. Obviously in all these products, they have other colors. These are just the ones that I, that I chose. Okay, so I think that's it. So my overall thoughts are I was really shockingly impressed again i don't have a lot of experience with green beauty or, or um, clean beauty this is really my first experience and i'm super super impressed i oh the last oh let me forget i have on my face she sent me some samples let me just show you okay she sent me some samples of their 10 tint skin complexion coverage foundation they were just some little samples in here and um I am a full coverage girl. I like full coverage. I like everything covered. However, I do love my It Cosmetics CC Cream. This kind of reminded me of that. Um, I, I am wearing this today with another full coverage foundation. I mixed the two and I love how that came out. I love that you can mix this with another high cover, like a um, you know, full coverage uh, foundation. But I did wear it alone the other day and I loved it. It is not full coverage, but it is buildable. Um, but you know what I loved about it is the, um, the, the, the sh this like satin finish. The finish of it was so pretty. It wasn't like my CC cream. It wasn't oily. It wasn't shiny. It just gave this really pretty like satin glow. I really, really like it. And I think this would be great for every single day. Like you just want to throw something on. It kind of moisturized your face. And in the summer, I would wear this every single day. I really would. Um, let me just kind of read you. It says tense skin complexion coverage foundation provides buildable sheer to medium coverage hyaluronic acid promotes smoother looking skin while reducing the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles that sounds good to me so yeah i wanted to mention that too so overall super impressed i think the quality is there what i appreciate is that they have not sacrificed quality because i think that can sometimes happen um, with certain products you know they try to 
you know, get rid of the junk, but the quality is not there. And I really feel like they have done a good job. It's pigmented. The, um, the, the colors blend beautifully. So I'm super happy. I'm super impressed. I really think that you would enjoy these products. I would not recommend something if I didn't think you would like it or if I didn't like it. Um, so here's the good news and what you guys get. My sweet friend Erica has offered the first 10 people to email her and mention my name. Of course, her email will be down below. Everything is gonna be down below that you need to know, okay? Um, the first 10 people that email her and say my name get 10% off of your total order. That's awesome. Then the next 10 people that email her and mention my name get free shipping. So I really appreciate her um, offering that to you guys so you can maybe try something and see if you like it. If you do, please let me know down below. If you have tried Beauty Counter before, comment down below and tell me some of your favorite products and why you like them. So I think that's it guys. I really appreciate you watching and, and a thank you to Erica for letting me try more wonderful beauty products. Oh. It's not just makeup, by the way. I didn't want you to think. They have everything. Like, they have skincare, and I tried one of their masks, and I loved it. They have sunscreen, baby products. Like, just go and, and look through all the products they offer. Because um, we all know sunscreen's got some junk in it. And I, yeah, and I'm not a fan of traditional sunscreen. So, I think that is it, guys. Please give this a thumbs up. Um, that would be great. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. And again, thanks so much for watching. And um, yeah, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.